Hello. Hello, everyone. I am Phil Wang, and I am bloody brilliant. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that assured quality in my voice sounded good, didn't it? Well, I'm here to talk about that thing that separates us from the animals. Now, what might that be? Tool building? Opposable thumbs? 35 Godzilla movies and counting? <laughs> no. It is confidence, ladies and gentlemen. Con confidence. <laughs> I was an extremely shy child. You know, I was the only kid at school who got detention for speaking too little in class <laughs> and creeping everyone out. <laughs> but as I got older, or less young, <laughs> I came to see that my chronic self-doubt was holding me back. I was missing out on opportunities. Professional, personal, sexual, but mainly sexual. <laughs> it was at this point in my life that I was lucky enough to discover a particular art form, an art form whose practitioners were masters of confidence, men and women who sailed through the air without a doubt in their minds, who publicly challenged each other to fights on a weekly basis in front of thousands of screaming nerds. <laughs> Professional wrestlers. <laughs> There are many lessons to be learned from a pro wrestler's guide to confidence. The first, give yourself a wrestling persona, even if you aren't a wrestler. Now, you wouldn't know it to look at them, but many of wrestling's biggest names are nothing like their in-ring alter egos. For example, did you know that in real life, The Rock is actually Dwayne Johnson? <laughs> a humble Hollywood movie star millionaire. <laughs> when he's relaxing at home, five-time world heavyweight champion Triple H drops two of his H's and is, in fact, just H from Steps. <laughs> now, in addition to a great persona, every wrestler worth their salt has got to have a good catchphrase, too. Uh, whether it's, can you smell what The Rock is cooking, or that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so, your catchphrase has to strike fear into your opponent's hearts. So, my wrestling name? The Wang Banger. <laughs> and my catchphrase, Wang, and the dirt is gone. <laughs> Get yourself a nemesis. Now, this is an important one. A wrestler is nothing without a grudge, a rival. Your enemies bring out the best in you by regularly putting your self-belief to the test. So get one. I've now had a nemesis for years. The pig. <laughs> and he is an absolute bastard. <laughs> the pig is my mortal enemy. I never know when he's gonna strike or what obnoxious thing he's going to do next. It could happen at any moment, and it does. To be honest, the pig has become the bane of my life. Regularly inconveniencing me, humiliating me, challenging my confidence, and just generally pissing me off, actually. <laughs> I go to the Dave offices to discuss my ideas for the next big gif. And what do you know? The pig is already there. <laughs> embarrassing me in front of the ladies <laughs> with lies about how many nectar points I have. <laughs> Even when I'm just trying to mind my own business, the pig will appear out of nowhere and just give me an atomic wedgie. <laughs> In cartoons. Sometimes when I go to the toilet for a wee, the pig will just start shouting through the door. He'll go, oh, oh, you're doing a poo in there, Phil. You're doing a poo <laughs> when I'm only doing a wee. He knows I'm only doing a wee. <laughs> and the results have been incredible. I'm finally learning to stand up for myself. And my urologist says the atomic wedgies have only reduced my fertility by a third. <laughs> in conclusion... <laughs> no. No, oh, piss off! Just piss, look, piss off, man. Look, no, I was only doing a wee. I was only doing a wee. No, that's enough. Enough of this. Yeah. <laughs> Come here! <laughs> 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 Gone. 
So, in conclusion, <laughs> with the confidence of a wrestler, you too can grab life by the snout. You too can pin your pig. Thank you.